this treat is pure nostalgia. The soft texture and the comforting cream combo has become iconic. But we hear the homemade version is even better. Our friend Courtney Rich has nailed her custom and homemade oatmeal cream pie cookies. Courtney, of course you, of course you made them better. <laughs> who, who is surprised by this? Not me. I'm actually a giant oatmeal cream pie oh. cookie fan. No, literally, whenever we go camping, everybody gets candy, they go for the yeah. s'mores. I'm like, I will take a oatmeal cream pie cookie. Do you get the Little Debbie ones from yes. the gas station? Yes. The supermarket? Yes. I love it. But you tell me these are better. Well, of course, homemade is always better. I mean, because, you know how I feel about that. It's you, because it's you. Tell us what makes these so good. Okay, we're still going to get a really good soft and chewy texture, and we're going to make sure that they have a great, like, similar flavor to mm -hmm. the Little Debbie, which mm -hmm. comes from the molasses that we're going to be putting in here. Okay. Which, so funny, I forgot the molasses. So it's not even on so the table. We, so we're rolling with it. We're going to roll with it. Yes, but just absolutely. know a couple tablespoons of molasses goes a long way and is gonna give us the texture and the flavor that we're looking for. Now, the Little Debbie cookie, you remember, it's pretty thin mm -hmm. and it's probably a little mm -hmm. bit bigger than these cookies, yeah. but you can't even taste the oats. It's really interesting as you look at the packaging, like there's raisins, raisin puree in the this. Little Debbie cookies. I don't like that. I don't want there to be raisins in there, but I love it. So then I'm like thinking, okay, well, is it fine? It's just there for like the flavor and the mm -hmm. texture. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're getting pretty close okay. with our homemade version. So okay. we're gonna start with some melted butter. Will you pour our sugar in? Yes. We're using some brown sugar, which just gives us like enhances that yummy molasses rich flavor. Mm -hmm. We'll need our egg and our vanilla too. Oh. Oh, I forget we always make such a mess with the It's fine. This is what beaters. cooking is. You know what? We yep. could even use a spoon and then we won't be so loud. Okay. So this is your thing anyway. You always say you can just use what oh, you have. Yes, yes. You don't even need a mixer on these. No. So once you mix up the wet ingredients, and if we had molasses, <laughs> it would go in. It would be now. Right now. So just... Just, Use your imagination. Just know, know that your when you make these at home, that's what you're gonna do. You yes. will see that in the recipe. Yes. Okay, let's add our flour, and okay. then we have some cinnamon. Now, the batter for these cookies is actually gonna be kind of a little sticky and okay. not really thick, so, but don't let that make you nervous or anything. Let's do baking soda and our salt. Now, something else that's so important with these, as I was testing out and playing around, coming up it's with my own, stuck. oh, it's stuck. There it's we go. Okay. We got it. With my recipe, I tried old-fashioned oats okay. to start, and I hated them, Ooh. which usually I love baking with old-fashioned oats, but the texture, they were like too big, and they had too much of a texture, and it ruined the cookie. They were not Little Debbie knockoffs. So instead, we're gonna use quick cooking oats. Okay. So let's throw those in here as well. And so this is just like your normal oatmeal. Yep, this okay. is just the quick cooking. You'll see the difference. There's old fashioned rolled oats and then there's quick cooking and we're using the quick cooking oats. I can They're a little smell bit smaller. This. I can yeah. smell it, it's yeah. amazing. And it is with the molasses, just two tablespoons of like, you know that grandma's brand mm -hmm. that we mm -hmm. love? Yeah. yeah, okay, something like that works great. Um, it will make it a little stickier than this. Then your cookie scoop size is not giant, this would be about 1.2 ounces of cookie dough. So when you're ready to scoop it up, just fill that up and you put it on your cookie sheet. They're only gonna bake for about eight minutes okay. at 350. When they're done, they will look a little puffy, but as they cool, they flatten and they darken. Okay, okay. So I was kind of ask you, do I need to smash them? Because they seem nope. very flat. They will start to just flatten okay. on their own. So don't panic. Now, don't panic. our cream filling is just powdered sugar, some butter, and a little bit of this marshmallow fluff, which mm. makes the yummiest filling. I do it in my homemade Oreos, too. Of this course you do. same yes. filling. So this that's what good we've stuff. got here. Okay, are you ready to taste this? Oh, I'm test? ready. Yeah. We're just going to pipe a little bit right in the center. Remember, it's going to... Push out so much. Yeah. Look oh, at that. yeah. Okay, make sure oh, we get that yeah. cream. Who else's mouth is watering? All right. Yep. It's still so soft. Okay. It's my favorite part. I mean, do I have to say it? It's amazing. It's so good. The cinnamon. Mm hmm. 
And those are molasses in that one. So yes. you get more of a richness of that like brown sugar it molasses is. I think it's that combo, which can I just say, these feel like the perfect fall treat. Yes. Because you have these spices, you have mm -hmm. the molasses, that brown sugar, this is, this is butter. There's it's some butter. really good like warmth it's absolutely. to these cookies. I could down six of those. <laughs> yeah. We'll finish them after. We'll the finish segment. them after. Yeah. Yes, after.